he i should not show on this side so this will be the meniscus how the meniscus meniscus will be curved wood one meniscus will be curved wood one so this will be uh, will will go for one plane diagram because again 3d you have to so many things we have to consider so if you see the plane diagram so shall we convert this into plane diagram so the plane diagram this will be the glass this will be the axis i will show for only the water for mercury what when you should try hmm? i'll i'll because i have to go for next set of problems look at this okay now now i think we can put it now where shall we indicate some points 1 2 3 4 so that we'll come to know where the pressure is more or that means so the radius of curvature of this will be r1 the radius of curvature of this let it be r2 so here let me take the point 1 Point two. There's a water here, 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 here. So let me take this as a point three. There's a point four. Can we write pressure at three? Pressure at three will be equal to pressure at three. P three equal to P four equal to P naught. so definitely what you can say p3 is equal to p1 plus it's a drop no so 2 st surface tension 2 st by r1 similarly p4 is equal to p2 plus 2 st by r2 agree this one so what is the Pressure at three will be more than one, so the resultant force in what direction will be acting here? Since pressure at three greater than one, the force will be acting in the direction. The pressure at force will be greater than two. The resultant force will be acting in the direction. So therefore, if I show the forces that are acting here, I have to show it in this way. So this you call force F A. This is F B. What is F A? F A should be we we know excess pressure. So what is excess pressure? Delta P three one equal to two S T by R one. Delta P four two should be equal to two S T by R two. What is F F A? F A should be equal to delta P three one into area effective area by R one square. So delta P three one will be two S T by R one into pi R one square. So this should be equal to two pi S T R one. Similarly, F B. The pressure difference. So delta P four two into pi R two square. Two S T by R two pi R two square. So two pi S T R two. Tell me, like, which will be greater, R one or R two? Since we know R one greater than R two from the diagram, radius of curvature. This radii will be more than this one, no? Uh, am I right? If you draw a circle, this will become bigger circle. What about this? This will be smaller circle. Able to make it out? So therefore, R one will be greater than R two. If R one greater than R two, F A will be greater than F B. As R one greater than R two. So therefore, F A greater than F B. So what happened to water molecule? Water drop. In what direction it will tend to move? It will tend to move towards right. As F A greater than F B, net force on water drop will act towards right or. Will tend to move 
towards narrow end will tend to move towards narrow end similarly you you do for the mercury drop how the mercury drop will be mercury what happen will not wet no so how the mercury drop i'll i'll give only diagram here to the mercury what happen will not wet the the drop will be like this the mercury no so mercury color uh, it, it, same similar way you you analyze and work out huh? it will be because at least you should put some effort no everything should not be given ready made Th this is separate you have to work out here huh? will you all of you you have to try that huh? the same method what i said Indicate point one, two, three, four, and check it where pressure pressure inside the mercury drop should be more here. 